I am a Bay Warrior. A spirit stirs inside, ready to strike down my opponents. I have power. I have speed. I have a warrior within, ready to be unleashed. And this warrior spirit takes on a new form with new Bay Warriors. I customize my warrior, and now I'm ready to conquer the competition. I'm in my pride, all on the line. This is my time. One for the glory, two for the story, story of a warrior. I know you feel it, you feel the spirit, spirit of a warrior. This is my warrior spirit. Haters underestimated what they up against. Understated, underrated, they don't believe it. Warriors to the end, baby, we undefeated. This is why I battle. I am a Bay Warrior. New Shogun Steel Bay Warrior. Is for somebody to find you You're falling in a forest And when you hit the ground Awful sweet To be a little butterfly Awful sweet To be a little butterfly Winging over it's Amazing. I was very nervous, but Michael Greif, when I walked in the, uh, oh. when I walked in the room for the callback, the first time it was just him and uh, the musical director, mm -hmm. but when I came in for the callback, Michael goes, now Alex, do exactly what you did last time. Thank you. <laughs> which, is, which is like code for, I've told them I like you, just, do it, it. just do it again. <laughs> Back me up here. Yeah, so that's, that's what it was, and then Amazing. I found out the next day. There are always the, the few things that are funny, but my favorite one happened in LA. Um, so the song and Then There Were None, mm -hmm. which is more it's... Uh, it's, he simultaneously, for those of you who don't know, um, he's singing okay. while Melchior's mother, I think everyone, everyone, knows. everyone knows. If you don't know, what the hell are you doing Where watching have you this been? video? Where have you been? Like, you um, turn off this computer right now. Yeah, so Melchior's mother is reading a letter that her response to Moritz, while Moritz is singing intercut with the, the reading. Mm -hmm. So that on its own, just saying, is really tough with, with a hearing actress voicing for the deaf woman, yeah. and then me singing for him, you know, all that stuff. And so it became a very, that, that song in particular was very intricately cute. So when we were in L.A., the way it was staged was I would be in the middle, um, Moritz and the boys would be on my right, mm -hmm. and uh, Melchior's mother would be on the left. And originally I was singing it at a microphone stand with my guitar, and the mic was the mic that worked. Yeah. And one night during previews, I'm coming to enter, and the mic is not set. It's not preset. And I was like telling stage managers, I'm like, guys, the mic's not here. Like, they're like, oh my god. And so they're running around to get it, but I have to go enter. Yeah. So I enter without the microphone. And I'm standing there being like, I don't really know what in the world I'm going to do. Like, I, I'm just going to start singing. There's going to be no microphone, and that's it. And yeah. you're not going to hear it. Um, which for some of the audience is fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but so I was like, I don't really know what, what's happening. I, I kind of like look over into the wing, and I see Andy Mientis with the rest of the boys, and Andy just like nodding. like, And I was like, okay, I wonder what he thinks that means. And so... They come out for the for their section, and one second before I start singing the uh huh uh huh uh huh, well fine. Andy just sticks a microphone in front of my face and is full on like, like rocking out with me, and he's holding the microphone for me so I can sing. And I'm like singing, thinking I'm like, but he has to go cue someone. Like what's gonna happen? And then he's standing there. Alex Wise comes in, grabs the microphone. Andy goes back to cue, uh -huh. and then Alex Wise resumes doing this. And every one of the boys at some point did this round robin of making sure that I had a microphone because normally I would just hold it, but I'm playing yeah. guitar. So every single person was able to silently communicate with each other that you're next, you're next, you're next. Go give him the mic. Go give him the mic. And all of this happened while no cues were missed. And half of these boys are deaf. So yeah. they, they don't even have a, the, there's not even much of a concept of like when this, the music begins. It was the craziest team effort thing I've ever seen. That's ever. insane. It was really cool. That would be amazing though if at the end, like the show, like after the show, Mike Garden's like, okay, so we're doing that for real now. Well, no, no, no. What happened was he goes, so we're going to cut the microphone. <laughs> so now you're just going to use your head mic. And I'm like, that sounds crazy. I've learned from like the team and stuff like that, uh, that I've spoken to that like when my name was brought up, they were like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be Alex, right? And, like, all I had to do was go in the room and not, like, just make a mockery of... Yeah, just, just, like, just, like, make a mockery of the material. Um, 
so yeah. Something really nerdy oh. is happening here at Spring Bway. Alex Bony Elbows and I are playing Animal Crossing, and I am about to visit his town. He's coming over to Poop Town. Now, to those of you uninitiated, this game, it is called Poop Town. And my flag's You're poop. 12 years old. So. Food of many different assortments. <laughs> First floor, second floor bathroom. Right in this book. Robert Clark, right in this book. Bro, I need you to write in this fucking book. Oh, did you guys hear that? Oh! His name is John Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Who is? It's right fucking there! Who is the kid? I'm looking right at it. Oh my god, oh, I've never Get seen out of here. It. Go. Pull, pull, pull! Guys, guys. Oh. Oh my Guys. god, that is the creepiest ghost I've seen yet. That was like, oh. that was like, that was, yeah, that was really creepy. horrifying. Before I started this process, I had never even met a dead person before, and now some of my best friends are dead. So, uh, no, you can do nothing for me, Siri. You can do nothing. Um, Calm down, Siri. You'll get your yes. um, Anyway, so that we were like, great. Uh, hello, we're back. We're back. We've. We finished raising money for charity, and now we're here raising money for Alex Boniello. Um, I thought that was pretty funny, too. Yeah, um, I didn't know what to do, so naturally I, like, cried a little bit. And... <laughs> Indeed. Right. Indeed. Indeed. A funny story. So Matt got really lucky. I don't remember if he mentioned this. Matt got really, really lucky and was able to get uh, a PS5 for both me and uh, Andy Bantis. We both, like, Matt got so lucky. Statistically, the odds are crazy. Um, so I drove out uh, to where Matt lives, picked up the PlayStation, got to uh, see him from like afar, um, and it was really, really nice uh, to briefly see him. But I want to tell you a funny story. So I parked on my block, and I was like, okay, like maybe, I mean, I don't know. It's like it's a PS5, and people are really trying to like get a hold of these things. You know what I mean? Like people really, it's hard. It's really, really hard to get them. Um, because of like the microchip shortage for COVID reasons and stuff, um, and so I, um, I, I was thinking I was like, should I have April come down and like grab the PlayStation? Like, what, what should I, what should I do? You know what I mean? Should I have April come down and grab the PlayStation? Um, because I'm like, I don't really want to walk like a whole city block. It's a huge box. You cannot miss it. And I don't want anyone to be like, hey, is that a PlayStation? And like, give me any trouble. I didn't really think it would happen, but you know, it, it's like walking down the block with a big square of gold um, because people could sell it on eBay for thousands of dollars right now. But I was like, you know what? We'll see. We'll see. And I found parking really, really quickly halfway down my block. And in New York City, if you find parking, you just, you got to take it. You got to take the parking. Um, so I... Uh, I was like, okay, it is a 25-second walk. It is a 25-second walk. Um, I will be fine. I will be able to just walk, uh, whatever. Uh, Alice, here's where you're wrong. Um, so I uh, got out of my car, and I said, I'm going to walk. It's a very short walk. I'm going to go. I get out of the car. I would say within 10 steps... A guy ran down the block, goes, yo, 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 where did you get that? I was like, oh, man, uh, hey, I, I, I got really lucky at a Best Buy. I'm sorry. He's like, how much you want for it? And I was like, I'm going to keep it. I'm sorry. I'm so uncomfortable, too, by the way, and I'm still walking with it. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, how much? I'll give you 750 bucks right now. I'm like, no, thank you. I just I want to keep it. Thank you. He's like, 1000 bucks. And I was like, no, I'm going to keep it. Thank you. He's like, ah, and he, he runs down the block, and I was like, whew. That was really stressful. Then a person in a truck is driving down the block, goes, like stops, like dead. They're driving and they just stop. They roll the window down. They say, how much did you get that for? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I got it. I got it for retail. I was like, I got it for retail. I got really, really lucky. Uh, you know, th I got it for retail. And he goes like this, must be real fucking nice. And he speeds away. And I was just standing there with this place. And I'm like, Oh my God, my, I can now, my apartment, I could throw a baseball to my apartment. I'm so close to it. And I just start walking really, really fast. And then another uh, kid comes up to me. He's like, yo, 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 where'd you get that? And I was like, I got it at a Best Buy. I, I got it retail. I got really, really lucky. I got in through the website and he goes, nice dude. See ya. And he walks, <laughs> and he walks fast. 
And then I just was like, I fully get out my little key and I'm like, get me, get me inside. Yes, three whole people. And when I tell you, I cannot stress to you hard enough. It was a very short walk. I, I can see out the window, my car. I can look out my window right there and I see my car. It was so, so funny. And I was laughing because I was like, dude, I like knew I knew it was going to be a thing. But, you know, you can't you can't walk around with like the hottest piece of technology that people want so bad without expecting uh, people to to respond to it. But it was really, really funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. The kid was the kid was funny. The kid was the kid was stoked for me. He was he was good. I've seen him around the neighborhood a couple times. OK. OK. We've done it. Give me a sec. We're gonna watch this together. Gung gung! <laughs> we were guys, and we were falling. Gung gung! I was sliding on some goo, and I, I fell. Gung gung! I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. We have to save him. Fallen. Rated NC-17. Fucking edgy stuff. Stuff that a bunch of little babies like you couldn't even handle. Directed by Zack Snyder. <laughs> We live in a society. We all go a little mad sometimes or some stupid shit. <laughs> oh no. I am really crying. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> oh no, it hurts a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm I'm really cut up, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, no. How do I um download that um thank you for that that was really 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 funny <laughs> oh man that made it uh that made all of this worth it <laughs> remind me never to uh Kyla Lauren thank you so much for following remind me to um never say anything on the internet again Oh my god. Dude. Come on. That was so funny. That was so funny. I, I feel nuts. Well, I'm like... Guy, so. It's fine now. You want to watch it one more time? We can watch it one more time because I want I want to watch it one more time. I'll watch it one more time. <laughs> it's the Dun Duns that really got me. Gung gung. <laughs> we were guys, and we were falling. 
<laughs> I was sliding on some goo and I, I fell. Kagong. Dude, I find it kind of funny. Dude, I'm, I'm, I. We have to save him. Fallen. Rated NC-17 for fucking edgy stuff. For stuff that a bunch of little babies like you couldn't even handle. Directed by Zack Snyder. <laughs> we live in a society. We all go a little mad sometimes or some stupid shit. Oh, dude.